It's no secret to anyone at this point that most people are anticipating that the successor to the Nintendo Switch, whether that be the Nintendo Switch 2, the Super Nintendo Switch, whatever it ends up being called, will be released sometime in the next 12 months. And it gets even more exciting because third parties and other publishers have begun to talk a little bit more about Nintendo Switch 2, whether indirectly or directly, as people are asking questions. And today we have an update from EA because they were asked some questions about the possibility of what Nintendo Switch 2 could mean for them and their games. And this could be very big for Nintendo Switch fans as we have not seen many EA games come to Nintendo Switch during this system's life cycle. So what's up, Waluigi? Trent from Nintendo here. Today, we are going to talk a little bit more about what this means. What did EA have to say? And could we see something else from EA on the horizon for Nintendo Switch 2? So before we hop into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video so you guys are kept up to date with everything going on here at Trent Nintendo. Let's see if we get 20 likes on this. It really does help. I appreciate it. And without further ado, let's hop right in. Now, as I said, the, the CEO for EA was asked specifically about the Nintendo Switch 2 and, you know, what what could they be doing with this system? Where are they excited for it? Something along those lines. And EA CEO had this to say where he responded basically saying that new systems are typically very good for EA and, you know, the increased power allows them to really showcase their games in a better light. And he specifically mentioned games such as uh, Madden and a couple others off the top of my head. I can't remember exactly. Uh, the article was on Video Games Chronicles. I'll link that down in the description below. If you want to go check that out, you can read the entirety of the article there. So as you're looking and thinking about this, you know, and as EA saying, you know, new consoles are really good for them. He, he mentioned that he can't specifically say anything about Nintendo Switch and that he won't say anything about anything that's not been announced yet. You know, that's kind of a good way that he didn't say, oh, you know, we haven't heard anything. We're not really working on it. He just basically said, you know, we can't really talk about it right now, which is a good sign saying that, you know, this is more than likely in the works and that EA is probably working on something for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, when he mentioned Madden specifically, you know, that's for me, that's a big game because, you know, I enjoy sports games. I know many people don't enjoy sports games, but there is a big chunk of people that do enjoy sports games. And we haven't had a ton of them coming to Nintendo Switch uh, specifically because EA seems to be one of the heavy hitters when publishing those games. You know, they published FC, formerly known as FIFA. They published uh, Madden. They published NHL. So some of those big games, they don't hit Nintendo Switch and they haven't for some time. We know we have gotten FIFA, but it was always the Legacy Edition. Uh, we haven't ever got a Madden game on the Switch. We have never gotten an NHL game on the Switch. We do get 2K games, but that's a different publisher. And even then, some of those games have been slightly different from the PS5 and the Xbox uh, systems games as well even though this title is the same they are slightly different now with ea saying this this opens up a possibility like i said for bringing some of those games over that we haven't seen maybe that's just because ea hasn't wanted to deal with the power issue that nintendo seemingly has with the nintendo switch you know there's always the thought that nintendo switch systems are not as powerful as what's currently in the market which is true uh, but we have seen games like hogwarts legacy you know where they are able to get these things running fairly well on nintendo switch given the time and maybe you know due to uh, budget constraints and things like that nature they haven't been able to do that with some of these other games at ea specifically so with this updated hardware for nintendo switch this allows the opportunity to maybe get some of these games that we haven't seen in the past. You know, I personally, like I said, I would love to see Madden games. I would love to see NHL games come to Nintendo Switch. But this opens up other possibilities as well besides those sport games you mentioned. You know, look at Jedi Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order. Those were some of my favorite games, you know, the last couple of years. A big Star Wars fan. And having EA publish those games, that opens an opportunity to maybe see some of these games in EA's back catalog as well come back. We had... Uh, Dead Space was an EA published title that people were really excited about, you know. So with this upgrade in power, potentially we could see some of these pack, uh, back catalog games for EA come to Nintendo Switch 2, which would be super exciting. I would love to see Jedi Survivor, a Jedi Fallen Order. I said those are some of my favorite games. Uh, Jedi Survivor was one of my favorite games last year uh, in total, even regardless of what system was on. And it was very well done, in my opinion. So I'd love to see these games on the go and being able to, you know, have some of these EA games that we haven't seen in the past. And EA aside, there's a lot of titles out there that have come to, uh, you know, PlayStation or Xbox that Nintendo just doesn't ever get. 
and with the Nintendo Switch 2 potentially having more of this power, hopefully these developers and these third parties, you know, it seems like they could be very excited for what Nintendo is offering in this next system. And we could be really feasting as Switch fans between the Nintendo's first party games that will look amazing. And I can imagine Nintendo has always had very, very well done software. Their titles have always done very well. And they're also like, let's like look at Tears of the Kingdom, look at Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart. There's all going to be all of these great titles, and now we're going to just add all the best third-party titles, hopefully, because the Switch 2 will be powerful enough to run them. So love to hear your, your guys' thoughts down below, though. What do you think about what EA had to say? Is this a good sign? Is it a nothing burger? Like I said, I personally think this is a good sign for Nintendo fans that EA is talking about it, that they say they're excited about new systems and they do well for them because of the increased power. I think that this could be a good sign that we could see the return of many EA games to Nintendo Switch systems. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, let me know down below what you guys think. Love to get that conversation going back and forth. Hit that subscribe button, like this video on your way out. It really does help. I appreciate it. And until next time, catch you later.